All right, so I probably just did the biggest hill climb in my life. It is, you gotta be nuts and I might be nuts. What's going on everybody? I am Josh, this is Ohio Off-Road and Ashley's being a little stinker. She's hanging out in the Jeep. She didn't want to get out for some reason. So we are in Sand Hollow, Sand Mountain OHV area. And this is our third day here. So we're gonna go have some fun today. We're meeting out with Holly Fowler and another friend we made yesterday, Tommy, and his wife, Kristen. And it should be a really good day. Sadly for Holly, Mischief Maker is down. So Mischief Maker won't be here, but she's got a friend's Jeep, so she's just gonna show us around with that. All right guys, hope you guys like this one. In the OHV parking area, they have a list of the trail rating guide to let you know how their trail system is rated, along with a map of the surrounding area. Just taking a view from the parking lot, it is absolutely gorgeous. Here comes Holly. We're following Holly up to the West Rim Trail. Take in those beautiful views. We came up on our first obstacle. Let's get it. This is your first big climb out here. It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Probably as I went up the wall a little bit too much. But yeah. yeah. You did good. We'll see what else we get into. Yep. It's amazing out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Is that my place we'll have to come back to? Yep. The nice thing about West Rim Trail is the amount of scenery that you get to see. It is a very scenic ride. Come down. this day was 111 degrees on the trail. Luckily we hit it early and was able to see a lot of the sights. The amount of traction out here is absolutely insane. This way a little bit. What? Okay, watch all of them. Lock, lock. With some awesome spotting, I made it up no problem. Is actually going up another pretty big ledge. A little bit driver. Yep. And hold that line. Good 
good. Cut driver. Ashley is conquering some fears today. These ledges out here are huge and she's getting vertical on them. And she is doing an absolutely awesome job. So we're gonna keep on moving. We're having a blast. This is West Rim Trail. Yep, ride it down. There's this awesome overlook on the West Rim Trail that's just a perfect little hangout spot. <laughs> You're fine. Just come down. Right, right there, come on. Now straight again. This video does not do this decline justice. This is a, a straight up wall that I came down. Talk about scary. Too much. Too much. All right, right there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Another one. <laughs> that looked fun. <laughs> so right now we are going to attempt the squeeze. Holly's gonna be coming up first and then Ash is gonna go. We'll see how this goes. It looks really really tight so we'll see how our big wide Jeep does. Now you can tell why it's called the squeeze. It definitely gets tightened through here. That's the look of not wanting to ruin your friend's cheek. No? Just gonna take that mirror off. That didn't work out. A little bit too wide. I don't know if she's gonna free position, but I think she was backing out of it so she doesn't take off the bar old Jeep smear. And a hole. I'm in the squeeze. I'm the squeeze. Left. You're fine, go ahead. You gotta probably go passenger a lot. Let me get in front. Come on. Just hold it like that for a little bit longer. Now cut, driver. Right there, hold that line. Yep, more driver. 
There we go. Yep, hold that line. Let's hold it, come on. Straight. You're good. You're good, you did great. All right, so that one was challenging because Holly over here. I didn't do anything. Sadly, we didn't get a um, good video of it, but she picked the whole side of that Jeep up and it got pretty, pretty scary. So then Ashley got creeped out really bad, but she did a great job. <laughs> so we just got done with West Rim. It was pretty awesome. Ashley did a great job driving it. We are now stepping up to the maze. So it's a level eight or number eight, however they want to call it. So we're going to see how this goes. It should be a blast. All right, let's get going. All right. So we're at the maze as a level eight. So we are going to do a driver mod and I'm going to let Josh take over. Um, he has to undo every, all the adjustments I had to make in the seats. Oops. Short girl problems. As you will see, the maze is full of fun obstacles that definitely test the limits of vertical. Ooh, that's heck of steep. make it up this obstacle, I had to hug driver just a little bit more. Gotta go! That tapping was the sound of oil starvation. giving out a smoke show. You really like to test the limits of vertical, Josh. <laughs> Let's just give it one more shot. This obstacle said, nope, not today. This is very technical, very technical. Here are some optional obstacles that you could do along the trail with different inclines at different degrees of steepness. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once you go up, you have to come back down. Josh decided to take the same route that he took up as down. All right, so this is You Gotta Be Nuts. Let's just Woo! say that Josh really does have to be nuts. I mean, guys, I'm standing right in front of it. Literally, directly in front is a wall. Whoop. It is like easily a 60, 60 degree incline. I swear, this is nuts. All right, so I probably just did the biggest hill climb in my life. It is, you gotta be nuts and I might be nuts because this hill climb was absolutely insane. I don't know, I hope you guys can see it. It's way down there. And then Holly and Ashley, they were standing somewhere down there, but I brought it up here. It did really, really well. So that was a blast. <laughs> All right, here goes Holly. Yep, you gotta be nuts. So we just finished the maze, it was pretty fun. And now we are on top of the world. It is absolutely awesome up here. Let me turn you guys around and show you guys. wheeling a good portion of the day with Holly, we stopped to get some refreshments and beat the heat, then later met up with Tommy and Kristen to run Slip Lock Slip Gulch. Lock Gulch I of the day and then we were able to meet up with Tommy and Kristen again for some evening wheeling so we just want to kind of take it nice and easy this evening since we do have our haul to mow up tomorrow Here in San Hollow. Departing day. It's our departing day because we are going to make our way on over to Moab to meet a couple friends. Yeah, San Hollow was awesome. It was great hanging out with Molly and the other two friends we made. Tommy and Kristen. Tommy and Kristen. It was awesome meeting those guys too. And this park is nuts. It will definitely break your crap. And it can happen fast. Yeah. So if, if you guys are ever planning on coming out doing like a Moab trip and a San Hollow trip, do Moab first and then come out here. Because what I've learned is San Hollow is way more extreme than Moab is. 
even like Pritchett Canyon and stuff, that's like a number six out here. So if you come, you go to Moab first, come out here, because if you go here and then go to Moab, everything's just gonna be a cakewalk and it's gonna be a snooze fest for you. And you can also, at the end of your trip, you can hit all the hard stuff and you don't have to worry about willing the rest of the week. So that's my one piece of advice for you guys. All right, guys, keep following along as we make our way on over to Moab. Adios.